hope you're having a great day. It's been an interesting week for NASA. First, Boeing and the ULA announced another delay in the next launch of Starliner. Soon thereafter, NASA issued an RFI, which is a request for information, soliciting information from potential sources to provide commercial crew space transportation services to and from the International Space Station. Has, NOAA, has NASA lost confidence in Boeing's ability to certify their Starliner to carry astronauts to the ISS? Well, we don't know, but welcome to Reaching for the Moon, hosted by me, Ed Grace. Before we start our discussion of commercial cruise space transportation services to and from the International Space Station, Blue Origin and Sierra Nevada recently jointly announced their plans to be for a project which they are calling the Orbital Reef Space Station. Orbital Reef is going to be a commercially developed, owned and operated space station built in a low Earth orbit. Orbital Reef sounds like a very exciting project by two companies with the technical capabilities and resources to be successful. We'll provide more information on Orbital Reef Space Station plans in a later video. Back in 2014, NASA issued commercial crew space transportation services contracts to and from the International Space Station to both Boeing and SpaceX. Both companies received contracts which covered final development and certification of their commercial crew vehicles as well as up to six operational crewed missions to the ISS. With Boeing's latest delay announcement, their first unmanned mission will not occur before 2022. Continued delays with Boeing's development of the Starliner mean the earliest crew test flight will not play, take place until late 2022. These Starliner problems have put Boeing far behind SpaceX in their ISS crew launches. SpaceX is set to launch its third operational Crew Dragon mission called Crew-3 for NASA on October 31st, 2021. SpaceX is planning to fly the Crew-4 and 5 missions in 2022. The successful SpaceX missions mean SpaceX is also approaching the end of its original NASA contract for six operational crewed missions to the ISS. The International Space Station is currently contracted to be operational through 2026. However, NASA is hoping to have the ISS operational contract extended to at least the year 2030. NASA needs to have reliable transportation services to get its astronauts to and from the ISS during this time period. NASA certainly does not want to have to purchase transportation services from Russia once again for its astronauts to fly to and from the ISS. By issuing the RFI, the request for information, is NASA finally having concerns about Boeing Starliner being able to fulfill its contractual requirements of providing transportation services for NASA's astronauts to and from the ISS? Is NASA ready to cancel Boeing's Starliner contract for non-performance? Only time is going to tell. However, this seems like a good time for Sierra Nevada to respond to the NASA RFI and get their Dream Chaser certified to carry astronauts to and from the ISS. Dream Chaser is expected to play a big part in transporting passengers to and from the Ocean Reef space station they just recently announced. The Dream Chaser is a reusable lifting body space plane which has been under development since 2010 and will be used to fulfill the commercial resupply contract Sierra Nevada currently has with NASA for the International Space Station. 
Sierra Nevada's Dream Chaser is a multi-mission space utility vehicle. Dream Chaser's initial launch is planned for late 2022. Sierra Nevada is presently contracted with NASA for using its Dream Chaser to provide a minimum of cargo missions to and from the space station carrying critical supplies of food, water, and science experiments. In the next few months, we would expect NASA to issue a new commercial crew space transportation services contract to SpaceX and probably one additional supplier. Leading candidate is Sierra Nevada using its Dream Chaser. Political pressure will probably keep Boeing's Starliner contract intact. By keeping the ISS operational until at least 2030, there's going to be sufficient demand for commercial crew transportation services to utilize three vendors. We'll keep you updated on the details of the Orbital Reef Space Station as they become finalized and published. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you, if you did, hit the like button as well as the subscribe and notification buttons to receive an email every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. Thank you for watching. Remember always, failure is not an option. Bye.